Let's look at another example. What do you see? Math man, math man, what do you see? I see students staring at me. You're creepy. <laughs> What's the shape? The horizontal funky S thing. Uh, that is the cube root function. So we got this guy. What else do you know about it? Tell me everything. We're going to call that, I, I have to call it a base point. It's base a base, it's your beginning point, and I can base everything else off of it. Why am I going right one? It's inside, opposite of what I see, yes, so it will be to the right one. There's something else you haven't talked to me about yet. The four is going to give me a stretch, right? Now, that's a pretty big stretch last time I checked, right? That's a pretty good stretch, right? Now let's put it all together. So let's see, where's my base point now? It was here, where is it? Right one and up two, so I'm going to be right here. Now, I'm going to do this. My new set of axes, are you with me? I've been doing this on every single problem. I want you to first graph the, the regular guy based off this. So when you come out here, 0, 1, what's the next number that I would have considered for the cube root? 8. So 8 units, that would have been over here. Likewise, going to the left, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and negative 8. What was the cube root of 1? What was the cube root of 8? Back over here, cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. Cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. Now, these guys that I have right here, is this my function? <coughs> Does that make, is that my function or am I missing something? Would you I've got to multiply four times that. So where I have these x's, I'm going to multiply their distance from this horizontal line by four. So this was a distance of one. What's one times four? four? So four, I'm up here. Here, what's two times four? Eight. Man. So two, four, six, eight should be right about there. We'll make it work. So here, this was a 1, so multiply that times 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4. This guy originally had a distance of 2, just like you had on the right side, times 4, so 4, 6, 8. Are you okay with the points that I have here? You have to know that original shape, and then you're just stretching it out in a vertical direction. So I need to get from this point, this is my base point. And if you know that's your base point, you can do this in two different halves. Do this half over here, and then come back and do the half that's on the left and on the right, uh, left and bottom. So I gotta get a smooth curve going through these points. So it's kind of flat vertically right here, and it starts to curve out, and do something like that. If you just do one, motion with your pencil. That's where it gets kind of ugly. Just sketch it out. Draw, draw little sections as you go, go across here. And you just kind of finish this going the other way. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Since nobody's watching this. I mean, seriously, I get two hits, two views, and one of those is probably me. Is it what? A French curve. A little mini French curve. Except mine this curve. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Here's what it should look like.
Oh, wait, so I actually grabbed it right? Yeah. Questions, comments? I think it's really straight on like the middle half. Right here? Mm -hmm. Again, you're dealing with the limitations of a computer with pixels. So mine. Huh? You can't get to curve out like this? It's like a curve this way and then a straight line and then a curve this way. It, well, it does kind of look like that. I mean, this is kind of what I what would you see right here. Right here, it's moment. There's, there's a moment where you are straight up and down. There's, there's an instantaneous function. moment where the slope doesn't exist. Does it's it under. Still huh? Is it still a function? Oh, it's still a function because each x value that I plug in gives me just one y value is still a function. There's just a singular, there's a singular point where the slope of the tangent line, when I talk about tangent lines, I'm talking about this. If I drew a line that just touches the edge of this, that's a tangent line. And you see as I go across here, those slopes, this is steep, this is not as steep, so the slope is getting lower and lower, right? But as I come back closer to that base point, you see that my slopes get steeper, super steep right here. And you see those tangent lines, how those slopes change, right? That's something that you would talk about in calculus. And using calculus, we could describe how when x equals 1 for this guy, the slope of the tangent line is undefined. But we don't really need to worry about that for us except maybe it helps you be okay that it, it looks kind of vertical there because instantaneously it is vertical going through that base point.